Hey, what's going on guys? It's Connor here from Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing an emoji info command. Now, I know I have been away for a very long time when it comes to the series and I do apologize for that. The upload schedule just wasn't really working out very well with my IRL life. So we're going to one episode a week instead of two and we'll see how we go and uh, we'll pretty much carry on from there. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So we're going to start off by pretty much requiring moment as we've done in previous info commands. Uh, this will be used for farsing the, um, the time that we provide. So let's just get straight into the run function. We're going to need to get the second parameter here, uh, which is the arguments. And we're going to deconstruct it and get a moat. So the first argument there. Following that, we're going to be doing const regex equals. And of course, with regex, you need to follow very closely because it's very easy to screw it up. So we're going to do a forward slash. going to do an up arrow, a uh, side arrow, an A, a question mark, a colon, uh, a backslash, a W, a plus colon, a uh, bracket here, inside this bracket, backslash D, plus and then we're going to go outside that we're going to have our arrow to close it going to have a dollar sign a forward slash comma and then this is where we're going to put a dollar sign and a one here and that is the regex i'm going to go down two lines and this is where we're going to pretty much find the emote so const emoji equals message dot gil dot emojis and obviously with v12 you have to have the cache here and we're going to find using the collection find method. And we're just going to pass a parameter here. Uh, and then follow that. We're just going to do not do that. Uh, just mg.name equals emote. Or because we're going to be able to find it via the ID as well. Uh, we're just going to pretty much use the regex. So this will find it via the name. This will find it by the eye. Next, obviously, here we'll want to pretty much just check if, uh, but pretty much if there's no emote, we want to have a response to that because we don't want to continue down the code if we, you know, don't have an emote that you've provided. So we're just going to pretty much say, please provide a valid custom emoji from this guild. And that will pretty much end that off. Going down two more lines here, I'm going to do const author fetch. And this will be the way that we pretty much get the person that added the emote to the guild so the person that's uploaded it to the discord guild uh, and that's just through this very simple method which is just fetch author following that we're going to make a quick little method here and it's going to be check or cross and it's just going to be a simple uh, pretty much a simple arrow function here with a uh, Tarnary operator. Now, you will have to go into Discord and grab these uh, emotes, um, but I can also leave them in the description for you. And quickly just paste them in here. So it's a cross and it's a check mark, pretty much. That's, that's what we got out of this. Next, following this, we're going to do const embed equals, and this will be pretty much be new message embed. And under this, we're going to do set description. Oh, that's set color, sorry. Set description. Inside this description, we're just going to add a little bit of markdown. We're going to do emoji information for underscore underscore. And we're pretty much going to do emoji dot name dot to lower case to lower case. And then underscore underscore. And we're just bolding that up again. Following this, this is where we're going to set the color. Um, I normally just set my embeds to blue. You can obviously change it to whatever color you would like. Following this, we're going to set the thumbnail. And this thumbnail is going to be the emoji itself. So it's going to be the URL. And then following this, this is where we add our first uh, field here. We're going to have general as the name. And the value will be obviously an embed here. Uh, not an embed, sorry. A, a, an array. We just quickly go back in here. We just go to server info. We're just going to quickly grab uh, this guy here. And we're gonna you know just just pretty much copy and paste it this will uh, mean that it will stay fluent so all the ch like information commands will be similar so that pretty much like it looks like all these commands are from the same bot so this is where we're going to do the id and it's as simple as emo emoji 
Id. Following this, because it's an array, don't forget your comma at the end, because we're putting elements into an array. Uh, we're just gonna, I'm actually just gonna quickly copy this, and it's just gonna stay in my uh, clipboard, because we're gonna need it a few more times. Uh, we're gonna actually have a, a little bit of mark down here, so we're gonna do link to emoji, and then on the other side, we will do emoji.url and pretty much what this will do is this will be what's displayed and it will be a hyperlink and we'll be able to use that to make it look very schmick following this we're going to do the author and this is where we're going to call our handy dandy author fetch up here uh, so we're going to use the tag of the author so author fetch tag, and then just to say fluent with how we normally uh, go about doing our stuff we're going to have the id of the user here as well uh, following this, we're going to have the time created, so time created, but we're actually just going to head back on into uh, whatever command that we've done previously. Uh, for instance, we've done the server info command in a previous one, and we're actually just going to copy this because it's going to be the same format, um, and it will save us a bunch of time. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to do emoji, and then we're going to replace this one as well, emoji. And following that will be this one with emoji. If you guys stay tuned, we're actually going to end up pretty much shortening this and adding it to the utils in the next video. Uh, I didn't find time to do it for this one, um, but we're pretty much going to be making our own function to do this so that we don't have to constantly write this or copy and paste it. We'll just simply be able to, you know, require it from our utils. Right, so if we go back here and add this back to our clipboard, this will be the final one for this part of the embed. And we're going to do accessible by... If you guys didn't know, if you upload an emoji for a bot or directly to the API, I think... Um, I'm not sure if you can do it as a user to the API. I think it may have to be a bot. You can actually restrict emojis to certain roles. So, Discord.js obviously handles this. And we're able to use this to be able to pretty much find out who this is accessible by. But you don't really see it. So... This is a very kind of, you can add it, but it's not necessary. Really, this whole command's not necessary. But what I'm saying is, you for the most part, it's just going to reply with everyone because we're going to have an all operator here. And it's just going to pretty much default to that because you're going to rarely see any guilds that have, um, obviously, a bot has uploaded an emote and restricted it. So, um, without further ado, let's just quickly uh, do this. So, roles uh dot cache dot map and inside here I'm just gonna do roll as the parameter name and do roll dot name and then outside of here we'll just you know join it with a space and a comma just simple like that and then an or operator here and we'll just say everyone so that's that field done next what we'll do is we'll go down one more line and we'll simply do add field and this will be the other so this is where we're going to call in this method here it's going to be fun and dandy. So we're just going to quickly do the same that we did above with the array. And we're actually just going to copy this again. Push that in there. And for the first one, we're going to say requires colons. This isn't really necessary because, uh, you know, I'd, I'm pretty sure all emotes require um, colon. Is we'll do check and cross. And then we'll just simply provide emoji uh, dot requires uh, if I can requires colons and that will check that and e and pretty much it will respond with either a check if it does or an X if it doesn't it's as simple as that next coming up we're gonna do deletable so uh, this pretty much checks if the, the bot can delete it um, which pretty much if the bot can delete it then you should be able to delete it um, and then what we're going to do is emoji.deleteable. Following that, we're going to do animated because obviously there's animated emotes. So animated. And we're just going to do the same again. So check or cross and then emoji.animated. And it will return true or false. Following that and the final step here, we're going to do managed because um, guilds can apparently have managed emotes i haven't thought about that actually that's a bit of a weird one there uh, and then we do check across and emoji dot managed 
And that will pretty much be that. So we're going to add our final semicolon. We're going to go down two lines and we're going to do return message dot channel dot send. And we're going to send the embed. Obviously following that with our semicolon. And let's see what it's going to tell us off for today. Fix all issues. All right. So that's the command done. What we're going to do is we're just going to jump into Discord and we'll see how it's looking. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. So now that we're in Discord and I've turned the bot on, what we're going to do is we're going to do emoji info. And pretty much it's going to it's gonna use our default stuff here. So we're saying that there's a usage and it requires args. So if it requires args it's, and we don't provide them, it's going to respond with the usage if there is a usage. Okay, so we're going to do emoji info, and then I don't know what emotes are in this Discord, but we'll just do this one. And it's going to provide the information. So this this one's obviously been around for a while, and it was provided by 2D. Uh, what have we done wrong here? Emoji.name dot to lowercase oh to lowercase is a method not a property that's a big oops um let's try this one again and voila there you go perfect um i'm pretty sure i added my own yeah i added like a menu docs emoji to show you the difference um between like authors to show you that it's not just a scam. So I added this a day ago. Um, but yeah, that's this is pretty much the command done. We'll just have a look now because I, I didn't encase this. Just do it one more time. And voila, it's encased. Anyways, that is the video done for today. Um, it's a simple command and we're gonna have a simple, a few more simple commands coming uh, purely because I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I haven't developed anything in months. So, uh, bear with me if my knowledge is a little bit iffy at the moment as well. Um, not saying that was very knowledgeable before, but, um, we'll, we'll continue to, uh, learn together. Anyways, uh, next tutorial will be the role info command and it's going to be fun. Um, role info is a very important command. Anyways, guys, this has been Connie here from Menudox and I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.